What's up guys, Celestra here again, bringing you another easy achievement guide, this time for Adios. It's one of the games for gold games, and it's free from June 1st to June 30th. So make sure you're going to download it, even if you're not going to play it right now, just so you can follow this guide later on. But, very easy game, takes maybe like 25-30 minutes to 100%, and there is a couple bugs in it, but I'll explain how to fix those bugs if you encounter them, because I encountered a couple, and it was very annoying. But anyway, start of the game, you saw it there. You literally just open your journal and then step forward and it goes to the next section. So this is where you get the first achievement, the butcher. So you just need to feed all this meat to the pigs here. There's no time limit or anything as long as you don't click through the dialogue, you'll be fine. The dialogue comes down in the bottom left where you press up or down, or left or right I think. And you don't need to select those, most of this, the scenes freeze, so you don't actually need to select anything. But for this, just chuck all the meat into the pigs and then once you've done all that and the pigs have eaten it all, then you'll get the butcher achievement. And once that's unlocked, you press your dialogue option. The dialogue doesn't matter, so pick whatever you want. Also, you can skip the dialogue that he says by pressing left bumper. Just keep constantly pressing it and you won't really hear anything. I forget a couple times in this because some of the dialogue's actually all right. But yeah, you don't need to do anything in this. You can eat the food if you want to eat the food, but just keep pressing left bumper and skip all past this. Just keep pressing whatever up, down, left, right you want to do. And then it'll skip to the next scene. And then in this next scene, the first thing we want to do is we want to go over here to where the goats are. Open here and use right trigger to set down the steel. I think this is where I forget that you can actually skip the dialogue. You can skip near enough every bit of dialogue. So just keep pressing left bumper and you won't hear any of this and then the goats will come in. This is quite a fun wee game though, to be fair. My goats are smart, they know what's up. From what I've gleamed it's about Hitman and you're like he's either learning to be a Hitman or you're learning to be a Hitman, one of the two. But seems like an alright little game. It's always good when the easy achievement games are actually quite fun as well. So yeah, as soon as you get the prompt to shoot, just shoot at him and it fires the milk at his face. Mmm, yummy goat milk. <laughs> That's such a strange sound. And then anyway, once you've done with this and you've got your achievement, the good thing is about this game as well, the achievements seem to pop very fast, unlike other games. So then you go over to the wheelbarrow and then you start using the shovel. So the way I've found to do this is just shovel before you even select the dialogue. Because, like I said, no scene will progress without you selecting dialogue. And you just basically want to shovel more than him. So if you shovel six or seven, uh, usually the barrel, uh, barrel will be full. And then you can just hit a dialogue option and then he'll scoop maybe one thing and then the achievement will unlock. There is a couple related to this. So make sure to pause your game and restart the scene as soon as you've got the achievement. So let him put one in. I think I put another one in here for good measure. Or I just let him do it, because I'm lazy. Or he's taking too long. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> right, so push the wheelbarrow, then press start. As soon as your achievement unlocks, restart scene. And then this time we're going to get the one for doing fair work. So we're going to shovel exactly the same amount as him. Best way I did it was just kind of shovel one, put it in. Then wait for him at shovel one, and then I just kind of did it at the same time as him. I think it's about four or five, and then the wheelbarrow's full. Also, I've heard so many people say wheelbarrow instead of wheelbarrow. I don't know if that's like a Scottish or an English thing or an American thing, but it's very weird. I do love words in different areas because it's just there's always different dialects and different things. So, like aluminum. And Graham, the word Graham, like the name Graham here, is Graham. But in America, it's Graham. Very, very strange. Strange differences in language. 
But yeah, if you guys are liking these videos, remember to leave a like, follow, etc. Because I'll be doing more achievement guides and things like that. And I've been enjoying doing this. The channel's been growing. So I keep trying to grow and show more achievement guides off. But anyway, do the same again. Press start. Select scene. And we're going to do the third one for this. Which requires you to let him do all the work. This one takes the most time because obviously he's slow as hell. But make sure to skip all the dialogue and then pick whichever option you want so you'll actually start shoveling. Otherwise you're going to stand there like an idiot. But yeah, I've been really appreciating all the support from the channel from you guys. It's been fun actually growing my achievement channel. And even seeing some of you guys coming from YouTube to Twitch and watch me play games live and stuff. It's really it's really fun seeing more people come in. It's nice to... and like chat to people about achievements and stuff same with the discord had a lot of guys come to the discord and we all been chatting about our favorite achievements or like what easier games you can get achievements from what hard games you've enjoyed things like that so if any of you guys are into that sort of stuff or you want to be a bit more social with us the discord's there twitch is there but yeah it's been great having the support from you guys and i hope to do more achievement guides and hopefully we can get more easier achievements like this we've also got a couple giveaways to do we got danger gazers from one of the developers so that'll be something i'll be doing a guide for probably the next couple of days and i'll be doing a giveaway on that so keep an eye on that but you have to be in the discord to be eligible for that giveaway so make sure you join the discord so i can chat to you guys but yeah eventually when he gets off his ass and fills the entire wheelbarrow then the achievement will unlock and this time you don't actually need to go to reselect scene you just push the wheelbarrow you don't actually need to push it to a certain location. As long as you're pushing forward, it will move by itself and it'll get you to the location you need to be. And there we go. Finally. It's almost like we're trying to bury a body here and you're just taking forever to fill the wheelbarrow. Yep, so just keep pushing, keep pushing. We go past the house and then this is the area where the game bugged for me. So if it does, I will show you a fix how to do it. It's quite annoying. Like, that's one of the things that's been bugging me recently about achievement hunting. So many of my games have been bugging out or not unlocking achievements. Like, I do a really hard thing in one of my games and it just doesn't unlock and it really pisses me off. I've turned off quick resume for all of my games every time I turn on my Xbox on there because I feel like that messes with the achievements. If any of you guys are having issues with, like, quick resume or achievements, turn it off because, trust me, it seems to affect most achievements now. It's a good feature, but it messes up with achievement hunting. Like, I've been trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is one of the harder games to 100%, and a lot of the achievements aren't unlocking. Right, so this is the part that bugs. You're supposed to be able to pick the root beer, and you're supposed to throw it into his hand to get an achievement, as well as the Slam Cola, which is his favorite drink, which also unlocks an achievement. But... Some reason this was bugging out for me. I was pressing X, pressing right trigger, nothing happens. So if this happens, what you want to do is very annoying. You have to quit out of the game, delete all of your save data, and then go back into the game. So just like this, go to manage the app, then delete all the data. It deleted the top one for me, but you have to delete the reserved space as well. I don't know why my Xbox was going so slow trying to delete all this data. Eventually, there we go. So save data, delete all this. You will have to start the game entirely again, which is very annoying. So you'll have to do like the wheelbarrow and the goat and all that sort of stuff. But this fixes it. Cool, so when you finally get back to this area, you should be able to press the button with X now and it'll drop a soda can. And then all you want to do is try and throw it into his hand. Sometimes it bounces off him like this and it disappears, but you can always get another soda. So just press it again, get another soda. That's not really the point. Crouch if you need to, but it's quite easy to throw it into his hand. You just need to kind of get in the right area. I'm just being an idiot here. There you go. That will unlock the first achievement for the soda cans, which is called Bottoms Up. And then reload, obviously, because you need to throw another can into his hand. Go back in here, skip all the dialogue, blah, 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 end of the shack. Pull the cord or don't pull the cord. And then click the Slam Cola and do the exact same thing. And just do that. And, yep, he doesn't like that slam co uh, cola, apparently, yeah, so, try again. There we go. And that obviously unlocks the Man of Taste achievement. So, once that's done, skip all the dialogue with the left bumper, and then we're on to the next part. So, as you see me exit this door, you'll probably see all the other objectives be there again. 
because obviously this is me starting the game fresh again after deleting all. So they're all still there. So the ones on the very right, but we're going to go on over to the ones on the left because these are the ones we shouldn't have done if your game hasn't bugged. So hopefully your game doesn't bug. But if it does, you're going to have to delete it all and start again. And then this is the horseshoe mini game, which you get an achievement for. So all you need to do is basically throw the horseshoes further than he does or closer to the peg. But I threw some further away and it gave me more points, but whatever. Basically, you just need to make sure that you get more points than him. If it looks like he's catching up to your score, just restart the scene and do it again. Basically, every time you threw a horseshoe, it, it gave him about four or five hundred. So... Well, near the end it did. I don't know if it gets more difficult, but just do all this and the achievement should unlock at the end of the game. So once you've thrown all your horseshoes, you're probably going to have to wait for him for a while. So I was just watching him, seeing how high his score would go. And like I said, about 500 per one that he was throwing. So as long as you either calculate how much he's going to get from each horseshoe he's throwing, or just kind of watch his score go up, you should be okay. I think he just got a tiny bit below me when I actually finished this off. Yeah, just skipping ahead a bit, this is his last horseshoe that he throws, and clearly he gets less than 500 for this, because otherwise he would have won. Yeah. But right. he loses here, and I get the achievement. So, like I said, if you see him get close to your score, and you're unsure, and you don't want to have to restart the whole thing again, just restart the scene, and then try again. And then the last one you have to do is feed the horse. Or, if your game bugged like mine, you'll have to do the other two that you did before, but this should be the last one that you do, which will take you on to the next scene. Don't you own a tractor? So just feed the horse the apple, well pet it, feed the horse an apple, skip all the dialogue, etc, and then you'll be on to the next part. One day, one day maybe the speller will understand. There you go. Cool, so once you've fed the horse the apple and skipped all the dialogue, etc, it's going to come to this part. You can't skip this dialogue here but you can skip it once the other guy comes along a tree's a tree remember all them roasted chestnuts at christmas oh sure sure i mean i kind of figured this big dude right here coming along to talk to us about chestnuts why is it special to you this is an american chestnut tree oh hey Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his Saul. that's me american huh but yeah, this is where you can skip all the dialogue. <laughs> you remembered. I used to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Hey, um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by and said you couldn't make it. I think I thought of this part that I couldn't skip anything, so I was just letting it play. But you can skip all this dialogue right here. Just skip past it all. Skip it. And this guy is very disapproving of me skipping the dialogue by shaking his head. And then, once this is over, next scene. This is where you get the mechanic achievement. So pretty easy. All you need to do is pop the hood, put the light on the hood, and then turn the engine on. So you pop the hood from this side of the car, grab the light that's to your right, and attach it to the hood of the car. Don't do what I'm doing here. Like a moron trying to attach it to the, the bottom of the hood. You have to go to where he is and attach it. So yeah, front of the hood, right there. And then skip all the dialogue, and then wait here, and then once the prompt comes up, start the engine, and you get the achievement. Sometimes it's nice to play an easy achievement game after all the ones I've been playing recently. I wasn't actually going to make a guide for this, because it's very easy, but there's a few missable achievements, so it's always good to help people with them. So yeah, mechanic achievement unlocked. Next scene. This next scene, there's two achievements, basically for not missing and for trying to shoot this guy. So press the trigger at him right now and try and get the achievement. Don't fire your gun at all, apart from pointing at him and pressing the trigger. 
and then just skip all the dialogue and you'll unlock the one for not missing a shot because you haven't actually fired the gun. And this is just a cutscene, skip all the dialogue, and then it'll go to the next area. And you get the achievement for obviously passing that area. Then in this next area, we're going to get quite a few achievements. So we're going to go in here and click on the piano with X. This will get you the Piano Man achievement. And then carry on through to the kitchen. And we're going to get a couple for using the phone, the old timey phone. Not as old timey as a rotary phone, but still. Pick up the phone and then phone Bill on the top. And as soon as you hear him pick up, you hang up. Oh, sorry, didn't hear you there, Bill. Sorry, sorry, I hang up on you. <laughs> and then what you want to do is you want to call Bill again, and this time you'll get a dial tone that he's not answering. Obviously, he's busy. And this will get you the next achievement. And then we're going to phone Edith, and we're just going to skip through all the dialogue. Like I said, the dialogue doesn't matter, so just skip through it as fast as you can. Then we're going to go out of the kitchen and up the stairs to the first door on the right. And then this is one the, the one that takes the longest. So you have to like pick up each record and each tape in here. So just play them both at the same time. Put them in the record player. Put them in the CD player. The CD player? No, I'm thinking too far ahead. The cassette player. So yeah, pop that in there at the same time. You're going to have both songs playing at once and it's very annoying. So what I'd say is just turn the sound down on your Xbox or on your TV, whatever it is you're playing on. And you just want to put each record and each cassette into the thing. So you'll know when it's done because the record will stop spinning and the cassette will actually pop out the machine. And then once you've done this with all four of each, so four records and four cassettes, you're going to unlock the audio file achievement. And the cassette is usually the one that takes the longest. They're very easy to find in the room, so I'm not going to point them out because they're literally very obvious. But yeah, the cassette takes the longest to play the last one that's next to the bed. So this one feels like it takes forever. Like, it goes on forever. <laughs> Not a bad tune, though. And then once that's done, that last one will pop out, and that's the fourth. And then you unlock the tape head achievement. So then we've only got a little bit longer to go in this game. So what you want to do is exit the door. Go all the way down the stairs, and we're going to turn around, and we're going to go all the way outside towards the horse that we saw before in the other scene. Not towards the horseshoes, that's the opposite direction, towards the horse. And it does take a little bit to approach here. I think it might be because mine was trying to go through the fence, so it slowed it down. Because I feel like it would probably move faster than this, so all you want to do is you want to feed it an apple. And as soon as you feed it an apple, you can start running into the house. I'm trying to throw an apple at it here to get it to go quicker. But yeah, just feed it an apple once it comes up. There you go. And then you just run into the house because the next part is just going to be clicking on the fishing rod in the basement, which triggers the next scene. But you don't actually need to skip the dialogue. You can skip the dialogue while you're running. And then once you're in the basement, you can click on the fishing rod. So just skip, skip, skip all the dialogue. See, I can't click on it because the dialogue's still going, but now I can. So there you go. Next scene. And this is the one that's a bit RNG, which might take you longer. So it might take you one fish, might take you three fish, might take you 20 fish. I don't know if it can go up to that amount, but all you want to do is you want to cast your line in the water. And this is for catching a really big fish in the pond. Catching the Admiral, essentially, which is how you get to the next area of the game. And all you need to do when you see a little splash, you want to reel in. And the tension line on the right hand side is how you see if your line's going to break. So just do what I do. Like, I love fishing mini games in games like Zelda... Final Fantasy 15, they're all, like, they're all hard compared to this. This is easy. So this is a very easy fishing minigame. You just need to keep an eye on the right-hand side. 
reel in really hard and then just let go for a bit and then reel in again let go reel in let go i think it took me about five attempts or six attempts to get the fish this is what it looks like when you actually catch them just put them in the cooler like the other fish and then you unlock the master commander achievement this next scene you just skip all the dialogue there's nothing to do in this scene And now we're coming up for the end of the game. Few achievements to collect in this area. So four achievements, which are related to cooking a meal. So what you want to do is you want to grab, not that gun, you want to grab the one on the counter. And there is a bug that can happen here as well when you go to actually place the shotgun on the table. I thought it happened to me, but apparently I was just being a moron because I was trying to place the shotgun in the wrong location. There will be a prompt that comes up, hopefully on the other side of the table. So yeah, don't do this, because this is not where the shotgun goes. <laughs> the shotgun goes on the opposite side where I am. So right up here, top right corner, done. So if that prompt doesn't come up, you do need to quit out your game, close down the game, and then go back into it, and hopefully it'll work. You don't need to delete your save data, because that'd be annoying. But if you do actually get the prompt and it comes up, then you continue, grab the knife, Cut the potatoes. Don't start chucking the potatoes about like I do. Just keep keep hold of the knife. Yeah, don't do that either because that's unhygienic. Gordon Ramsay would be having a field day with me throwing food all over the floor. So what you want to do is basically chop everything. And then what we want to do is pick up the steak, put it in the pan. Let that cook. Then we're going to pick up the potatoes, pop them in the pan. The pot, not the pan. The pot, the big red pot. And then we're going to literally put everything inside the pot. None, nothing else, just the top shelf and the potatoes. And then once you've done that, you want to get the chicken stock, which is on the left-hand side, right here. And put that in. And the things that have been thrown all over the floor, you'll need that because that's a hot packet. You want to put the hot packet in there, not on the floor. And this makes a curry, basically. So what we'll do is pop that in there, and then last thing we need to grab is the steak. Pop the steak in there as well. And then to finish these, you want to click on the timer on the wall. That will finish cooking the dinner. And then you just want to put that next to the shotgun, and then once the achievement pops, you want to restart the scene. Just like this. So sit in the chair. Achievement should unlock, and then once it does, pause. Restart scene. And then we're going to make three more meals. And then we only have one more achievement left to get. So same again, go back down to the bottom, grab the shotgun, go up to the top, etc. Put it in the same place. Mine does actually bug here, so I'll show you it bugging as well. Just uh, Not in this part, I think it's the third meal I'm cooking it bugs at. So just make sure you go through this door and then place it in the top right corner, not the bottom one like I did. And then go to the kitchen, grab the knife. And then chop everything. Again. Put the knife down, practice proper knife safety, <laughs> pop all the potatoes in the pot, not the pan, and then the steak in the pan to cook, the onion, the carrots in the pot again, and there we go, and then we're going to grab the peas, and we're going to pop them in the pot too, and then the chicken stock, and then Grab the steak, put it in the pot again, and then the timer. And that will make the next meal. Gotta say, these meals look actually really good. Might just be because I'm hungry. Then, same again, pause and restart. You want to do this for each one. Apart from the last one, obviously. Then, same again, shotgun, table, cook. This might be the one that bugs for me. Let's see. Nope. Must be the last one. Cool. So same again. We want to go and pick up the steak fully this time. Put it in the pot, uh, the pan. Peas into the pot. And then full potato into the microwave. Turn it on. Let it cook. 
enjoy your handiwork as you watch the potato cook in the microwave. Grab the microwave potato, pop it in the pot, and then the same with the steak, and then press the timer. I don't know if you guys have ever cooked in your life, but this is not how you cook. You can't just pop everything in a well, you can pop everything in the pot, but it comes out soup or stew. Not like this. This is a steak meal. Alright, and then same again, pause once the achievement unlocks, and then restart. Cool. Two more achievements left to go. Then we go all the way back down to the cellar, grab the shotgun, put the shotgun on the table, but this time we can't, because the shotgun actually bugs. So I'll show you what that looks like. So, prompt, no, no longer there. So you just need to close your game down, make sure it's not on quick resume or anything like that, put the game back up, and the prompt should be back there. You don't need to delete your save data and do the whole game again. Do not do that. So just like you normally close a game, go to here, quit, and then go back into it. It really annoys me when games bug. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves, but it's, it's worse with the, when achievements bug. Especially if it's a very long and hard achievement like my Yu-Gi-Oh things that I'm trying to do. So yeah, go back through the game. You should be still at the same section. Just need to run down and get the shotgun, go back up, place it on the table hopefully this time. Yep, here we go. Moment of truth. Will the shotgun work? Hey, there we go. So, last meal. Last meal is very easy. Open the fridge. Open the burrito packet. There you go. Pop the burrito in the microwave. And you're done. I'd be quite sad if this was my final meal. A burrito. Unless it was a banging burrito, because burritos are pretty good. But yeah, pick up the burrito, don't even need a plate because we're a savage. And we'll place the burrito on the table, sit down in the chair. And we're going to do a quick little achievement check just to make sure. So once that unlocks, press start. And you should only have one left, which is the one you're about to get. So just unpause the game and continue. And once the game's done its little thing, then the last achievement should unlock. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos and continuing along. Even some of my videos that don't do well, I enjoy the feedback and like your guys' comments and all that sort of stuff. So please keep it coming. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, share, etc. Like I said, my Discord and my Twitch and all that are available. Discussing loads of achievement stuff, doing achievement videos, all that sort of cool stuff. But yeah, that's 1000 G on Adios. And I will say adios to you guys. Have a great day and I will see you in the next achievement video. Bye-bye.